the focus of this week's fun spot on the spot is Juwan Taylor. The Coco product was one of just 23 players invited to Nashville for the NFL draft. And he finally got to hear his name called Friday when the Jacksonville Jaguars made him one of the future anchors of their offensive line. I had a chance to sit down with Juwan and his family to learn just how hard he had to work to get to the NFL. What is it that you've done, you think, in your career that, that's proven yourself to, to be this caliber of player? Um, you know, it's a blessing. I, I just feel like I'm, I am the best offensive lineman in this draft class, and uh, I work very, very hard to get where I'm at now. Um, nothing was given to me, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be in this position. It's definitely a dream come true. Um, you know, this has been his dream since the age of four years old. He had just got finished looking at a Gator game, and he came in the kitchen and said, you know, he wanted to play for the Gators first. And then he said he wanted to go at four. And then he said he wanted to go on and play for the NFL. You know, he was always overweight. You know, he was standing there with the corn dog in one hand and popsicle in the other hand. But guess what? You know, me as a parent, when your child comes and says something like that, you know, I encouraged him and told him at that time, you can be anything you want to be. Anything you want to be, as long as you put your mind to it. They used to laugh at him. He was a laughing stock, right? And then I reached out to him, and uh, I said, nephew, I got you. We got together at 14, I started working with his feet work. I said, okay, the biggest thing right now, if I can get a kid this big to move like a defensive back, you're going to create a lot of problems for a lot of people. You know, it was a crazy process. Uh, Florida's been a dream school for me since I was a kid, so um, pretty much I went to a camp the first week of that summer, going into my senior year, and they were like, um, you know, in order to, lose, to get the offer, you have to lose weight. So I was 383 at the, at the weigh-in that, um, that morning, so um, pretty much just went home, changed all my eating habits. I worked out three times a day. That's when we really knew, when I really knew he wanted it, when he turned down the macaroni and cheese. Came back at the end of the summer for that Friday Night Lights camp in uh, July, and um, I was 52 pounds off, so lost 52 pounds in two and a half months. So, um, you know, that's what really got me to where I'm at now. It was all him, you know what I mean? He, he was determined. He has a mindset, he has a strong work ethic. We raised him, you know, just to work hard and whatever he want. Just like his mom said, whatever you want to do with your life, you can do it. Just put your shoulder to the wheel, hard work, and just, just dedicate yourself to what you want to do, and you can make it. You know, you, you can make your dreams reality, and that's what he did. I want to read off some of these, uh, what the scouts say. Okay. Grizzly bear, mm -hmm. <laughs> monster paws, <laughs> big heavy hands, mm -hmm. and unleashes the nasty. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think when you hear those things? I mean, I, I hear those things a lot. Um, you know, I get all those types of things. Uh, definitely the nasty part, uh, I get that a lot. I feel like that's where, you know, my game comes from, mm -hmm. just being nasty, being aggressive. What is a team getting when they call your name? Um, just a good dude, you know, loves to work, um, loves to win, uh, very nasty, very aggressive. Um, you know, I love the game of football. I'm just very passionate about the game. So you're going to get a guy that's very passionate, um, going to come in and just work hard from day one. I think the Jaguars got themselves a good one.